Hey, welcome. And today I'm going to do a reaction video of a song uh, recommended to me. Uh, it is Prism by Submotion Orchestra. So I have no idea what this song is going to be like. Uh, I don't even know what genre it is. It was in response to my Is Rick Beato Write About Today's Music video. So I'm presuming it's a pop song, but don't know. And I've never heard of Submotion Orchestra before. Like literally just never heard of them. Um, if I have heard this song, it would have been purely in some kind of weird passing or it was played on a TV show I was watching or something like that. So, hey, let's do it. Let's get into it. Prism. Prism by Submotion Orchestra. Not prison. Prism. Prism. Let's presume that this is going to be any good. Okay. Let's play it. I'm going to play it. Ready? Oh, before I do play it, subscribe to the video. Scri no, don't do that. Subscribe to the channel, not the video. Subscribing to the video is of no use whatsoever. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you get updates when I post. That'd be good. Okay, let's go. In the sky. Okay, like the start. That's good. She's she's got a really nice voice. She's going for the female tones, not trying to do all this low register shit. Um, that's good. Starts with this nice. Uh, it's just basically it's just pads. Very atmospheric going on in here. But there's a little sound at the beginning. Let me just hear that once again. In the sky. Okay, so what I was what I was hearing there was actually just the echo on her voice. Nicely done, just nicely produced. That's that that's a nice sound right there. And they captured um, so the echo in there. What's quite nice about that is they didn't capture the tail of her vocal. The echo captured like a mid a mid phrase of what she was singing and echoed that. That's that's quite cool. I quite like that. Um, normally you get the tail. I have to remember that. That's a good technique. I like that. Big long echo. Gently falls. Gently falls. Some nice, just little, really subtle notes coming in on the keys. With, um, what an echo, tone of echo. Just saturate everything in reverb is the key. Okay, that was pretty cool. Let's hear that again. Now I think she just did a key change. Did she do a key change or did she just go up? Is this going somewhere? Is this going to 
explode into something or there's the drama it must be going to. Didn't go where I thought it was going to go. Okay. All right. So, with that transition, my first impression here of that is that someone's been listening to Porter's Head. Oh, yes. Someone has gone back to the 1990s and listened to Porter's Head because this sounds so much like Porter's Head. When it transitioned with the singing at the opening and the pads, the atmospheric part, could have been anything, right? Could have been anything. But they moved into, I was kind of thinking, oh, they're going to go doom, 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 and, and start going into like a, a, a real rocky kind of song. But no, this is trip hop. So they they just transitioned. And it was it was pretty cool. Like I liked the, the transition because I was expecting more from it. But I was surprised by the subtlety of the transition and how it came in much gentler than I thought it was going to come in. And surprise is a good thing in music. So that's cool. That's pretty cool. Let's hear that again. So you could come in huge here. In fact, you could have very easily come in with drum and bass right there. It would not have surprised me that this could be a liquid drum and bass track. Uh, and very influenced by drum and bass because you can hear the bass come in. That's a drum and bass sound right there. So what are we getting? Are we getting slow tempo drum and bass? Is this halftime drum and bass or is it going to be... Are they going to go trap, or is this just pure trip hop? So straightforward drum beat. So not drum and bass. Or, uh, but definitely a drum and bass uh, synth bass. The thing is, it's a guy playing a bass there, but... There is no, literally no bass in this song other than the synth bass. And they've got a guy sitting behind a drum kit, but... Is he actually playing that part? Pop music though? Maybe. For the first time we actually see a full face shot of the singer. I'd like to hear her do something a little different because it's getting a little samey at the moment. Interesting trumpet. Some brass coming in there. Downbeat, very down tempo. Kind of yeah, acid jazz, trip hop. It's not really trip hop though, because trip hop. 
what we have, a beat that is a lot more uneven than this. This is a straight force beat, so... So what genre does that make this? Straight force beat, bit of brass, I guess acid jazz maybe? I don't know. It's got that acidy vibe to it. track right okay and then it just fades out all right um yeah cool okay yeah I, I, I like that that's fine um I mean I could say that maybe I would have liked a little bit more change in that song for it to switch into something else but not every song has to do that and uh that's fine it's five minutes long it feels like it's maybe a minute too long for what they were doing but that's being a little picky it wasn't bad i quite enjoyed it and i enjoyed their use of echo in the track but i feel like they could have maybe explored a few different things rhythmically gone to some different places uh, as I hear it the songwriter in me just goes oh so I would have done this and I would have done that and changed all of these things around um, it's kind of a it's a trait of modern songs that they tend to not be very melodically interesting and this is kind of going along with that and I don't know if this is like oh people are too stupid to be able to accept music that has changes in it <laughs> or what it is but they kind of like take it they take a tone and it's like okay that's cool that's cool and then you're expecting oh I want it to change and I want it to morph into something that's interesting and that, and that it gets bigger and and whatnot that I would say was good but I think that they could have made it better to be honest I think they really could have gone some places and made that song better and more interesting but you know I'm being super picky I actually didn't mind it I'd listen to that it was fine submotion orchestra prism yeah it was decent um if I had to give it an overall rating, comparing it to all music from all time, and I gave it a rating out of 10, I would give it a... Oh, that's hard. It's a hard one. 7. I'd give it a 7. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Decent. Okay, that's cool. If you like the video, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, share the video with a friend, and you can go and check out some of my other videos. Please feel free to do that. Check out my other videos. Don't go and watch all those videos made by other people on YouTube. Just watch my videos. Only mine. Okay. See you next time.